Welcome back to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mellin, aka Mr. Mel. Um, today I'm gonna go through the total setup of uh, a new VBAR. Uh, as for wiring, you have the quick start guide on uh, for the mini VBAR. You have the quick start guide on vstabi.info. Uh, you can look at that, but there is some um, pointers that I'm gonna point out later. So uh, in this case I already ran this um, mini on this helicopter so I know the wiring is correct but uh, let's go through it and have a look. So first thing I'm gonna do is press a create new setup. Actually I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is turn everything on here. Um, so we have a good connection and I create new setup that sends a base function down to the VBAR. There is no presets anymore. It's a base uh, setting that um, as a starter. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, use Spectrum and now here we see the new um, 5.0.11 version where we have high-res satellites um, and uh, that's 11 milliseconds or 24-8 uh, resolution and we have the Futaba S-Bus. So I'm going to use high-res um, satellites and what I'm going to do now is just press bind. Nothing going to happen but then I turn off power quickly and turn it back on just a second and you can uh, see the lamp uh, blinking on the on the spectrum and then I just as usual when you bind press the button in the back and there we get a connection soon please note if it's a new setup that you unhook the motor and uh, because as of uh, version 5 the VBAR actually store failsafe correctly and everything so make sure you have the throttles correctly for failsafe and uh, to prevent a uh, so-called hot start, make sure you disconnect the motor. So the binding is complete now. We can see directly we have some input here on the screen uh, from, from the radio. What we're going to do next is just click continue. And then I see I need to adjust my uh, sub trim and ATV on the radio. So what I'm going to do is if we... Uh, lower this a little bit so we can have I go in and uh, first of all I'm gonna adjust my sub trim so I get zero across the board aileron elevator we need a few points there we go uh, rudder need a few points there as well on the direction then I need to put my collective at center stick. Clear that. And uh, I need to verify that my pitch curve out is 50 in the center. Sub trim. We go and go back and fix the rudder so it's uh, and the elevator needed a few more it's bouncing a little bit around oh well there we go so now i have uh, zero in the center then i need to adjust my atv to make sure that i get 100 in each direction so right now I'm 118 on, uh, let's see here, Hundred one, hundred and one, hundred, hundred and two. 101, 101, 100, 102, so I need to adjust, uh, so I get 100 in each direction. There we go, elevator, 100, I mean 1% one, 1 here or there is not uh, critical. 
and then the rudder fair enough collective 100 100 okay uh, now the transmitter is set up um, as for endpoints now I need to double check the directions the server reverse so if I do a aileron right and the screen should re go to right elevator push meaning forward and it should go push rudder right and that's correct and collective to the positive else I need to use the server reverse to get that going after this is done I'm not touching the radio anymore this is done we're um, do not need to change that unless uh, using bank switching uh, which I don't do on this helicopter but if I did uh, I could see down the gyro bank switching uh, percentage here as well so uh, there we go. set center and it restarts the V-bar and there we go uh, t calibration of uh, transmitter is done so what we're gonna do now is continue on with the next step and that is sensor mounting and in VBAR there is no you cannot change one single sensor you should point out in this screen how your sensor is mounted and that is um, fixed meaning if you get the wrong aileron um, for example the wrong aileron movement later on it means that you have done something wrong uh, in the setup and I get back to that but in this case I have a mini mounted uh, with a label upwards and the cable is facing rear so I'm gonna click that one and that's done then we go to the next step and now I need to tell if it's a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation of the main rotor and this is a clockwise so that's already set but click it anyway and then we come to the swash and this is important <coughs> right now uh, this is set up for two aileron servos in the front and then uh, I need actually an elevator servo in the front so I should change this but please note here if you have already hooked up the servo cables for this configuration channel 2 on the left hand side whereas uh, let's see here uh, that camera a little bit so you can see if I were to use this as a guide how to connect the servos meaning I connect the left aileron servo to channel 2 on the V-bar then when I do the setup I switch because of course I need to change the swash layout and guess what it's the right aileron servo that goes to channel 2 and this is a very common because what happens in the end you get everything going except aileron is moving the wrong direction and then you probably have swapped the two and three servo ports two and three so make sure your cable uh, from the server the physical servo cable going into the v-bar matches this map so to speak channel two for the right aileron servo in this case swash we press expert button and then we get uh, where we can select digital servos or analog I have digital uh, so that's what I'm gonna choose geometric correction I want to have that on it corrects for the circular movement of uh, of the servo horn and what I need to see here and test is the uh, cyclic ring so I will make sure I don't have binding underneath or uh, in the close for the um, any binding anywhere so I test that and make sure it looks good so then I don't need to touch it default value is good pitch pump yeah, I could run uh, it drives the pitch further uh, at fast movement so it gets a bit snappier uh, otherwise this is for adjusting the swash plate layout you actually have the angle uh, of, of each arm and the distance so you can uh, create your own if you have a different layout of the swash uh, physical layout 